His story starts sad, but not very bad for a shoemaker who was poor. He had food to eat and a wife quite sweet, but few customers came to his door. With the leather he'd choose, make a new pair of shoes, which prepared to sell every day. He would cut and would sew, add some glue, and you know there were plenty of those that could pay. And though he worked well, it is now I must tell of the time he had leather no more, except for one piece, which he cut, shaped, and creased, and then left it all night on the floor. I guess it's no crime if you stop for some time and plan to finish in the morn. When he woke the next day, his wife heard him say, Why, these shoes, they are fit to be worn. But not by his hand, the shoes looked quite grand. Not a stitch could he see out of place. And they looked oh so good. Well, he did what he could and put them up in the window showcase. When a buyer stopped by, saw the shoes and did cry, Those incredible shoes look so rare. Uh, they're exceptionally nice. I would pay twice the price just to own that magnificent pair. The shoemaker had won, and the deal it was done. With more money, he had nothing to lose, and he spent it most wise to get more supplies, enough to make two pairs of shoes. He worked all the day, tracing patterns, they say, cutting each careful and neat. Then he went off to bed with more thoughts in his head, for he planned the next day to complete. He woke to his surprise, for four shoes filled his eyes. They were finished and ready to sell, which he sold for much more than he ever planned for. So now he was doing quite well. As each day passed on by, he continued to try to finish a pair every night. But just as before, he did cutting, not more. The next day, all the shoes were just right. As time passed on by, his wife said, let's try to find out what's up with the shoeing. They put up a curtain and hid there for certain, and throughout the night kept on viewing, when who should walk in, dressed just in bare skin, but two naked, hard-working elves. They went straight to their job with an area a sob and made pairs that they put on the shelves. With their hammers, they wrapped added glue and then tapped as they worked on each pair until dawn. Without even a shirk, they completed their work and when finished, they left and were gone. Well, that's a surprise, said his wife who was wise. We must do something to give them some payments. The shoemaker agreed and the wife said that she'd make the pair of them plenty of raiments. So she sold lots of clothes from their heads to their toes, while the shoemaker, he made them shoes. Then again, hid at night, put the clothes in plain sight, hoping that's what the two elves would choose. Which they did when they came, all the clothes they did claim. And as they cried, we are naked no more. And they skipped and they danced in their new pairs of pants. So they tired and went out the door. The elves got what they lacked and they never came back. And the shoemaker, well, he felt good. When you're kind and you care and you're willing to share, all things will work out as they should. Now he and his wife live a very good life and his shoemaker shop, it does well. And the elves, if you doubt, if their story worked out, you must wait for today, I won't tell.